Balancing Redox Reaction by Ion Method I will teach you balancing redox reaction in acidic and basic medium. Firstly, I challenge you that you will not find this trick in any book or in any video format. Because it is my personal trick which I teach to special students like you. Secondly, I will not teach you 5 or 6 rules of balancing any redox reaction. Rather, I will teach you only 2 simple and super easy steps through which you can balance any redox reaction in less than a minute. So watch this lecture till the end. Now let me teach you some very basic concepts like calculating oxidation state or oxidation number. For example, find the oxidation number of manganese in this ion and find the oxidation number of sulfur in this molecule. We know that the oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2 in its compounds. We can see that there is only one atom of manganese and there are four atoms of oxygen while the net charge is negative 1. So I write manganese plus 4 oxygen atom is equal to negative 1. I plug in the oxidation state of oxygen in this equation. I get manganese minus 8 is equal to negative 1 and I get manganese is equal to positive 7. So the oxidation state of manganese is positive 7 in this ion. Secondly, we can see that there is one atom of sulfur and three atoms of oxygen. While the net charge on this molecule is zero. So I write sulfur plus three oxygen is equal to zero. I plug in the oxidation state of oxygen in this equation. I get sulfur minus six is equal to zero or sulfur is equal to positive six. So the oxidation state of sulfur is positive six. Thus by this way, we can easily find the oxidation state or oxidation number of any element. Now let me teach you the super easy trick of balancing any redox reaction in acidic medium. Personally, I call it two boxes trick. Firstly, we will find the oxidation and reduction. Secondly, we will balance the oxygen atom. For example, Consider this redox reaction in acidic medium. Now we will calculate the oxidation number of this manganese which is positive 7. Now I will connect manganese with manganese and iron with iron using two blades. We can see that the oxidation number of manganese reduced from positive 7 to positive 2 so it is reduction and it has gained 5 electrons. While the oxidation number of iron increased from positive 2 to positive 3. So it is oxidized and it has lost one electron. Now to balance the number of lost of electrons and the number of gains of electron, just cross multiply them. I mean we will multiply the oxidation by 5 and the reduction by 1. Remember that this 5 means we need 5 atoms of iron on both the sides. While well, this one means we need one atom of manganese on both the sides. Now there is one atom of iron in the reactant and one atom of iron in the product. I have to multiply it by this 5 because I need 5 atoms of iron on both the sides. So iron is balanced. While I have to multiply manganese by 1 because I need one atom of manganese on both the sides. So manganese is also balanced. The second step is to balance oxygen atoms. We can see that in the reactants there are total 4 oxygen atoms while in the product there is no oxygen atom. So we also need 4 oxygen atoms in the products. Remember that to balance oxygen atoms we have to add the water molecules. For example, there are 4 oxygen atoms in the reactants. I will just add 4 water molecules to the products. Lastly, I double the number of water molecules. I mean, there are 4 molecules of water. I double its number to 8 and I write 8 hydrogen ions. So our redox reaction is just boomed. Now let me check it. We can see that in the reactants, there is one atom of manganese, there are four atoms of oxygen, there are five atoms of iron and there are eight atoms of hydrogen. 
Similarly, in the products, there is one atom of manganese, there are four atoms of oxygen, there are five atoms of iron, and there are eight atoms of hydrogen. So we have successfully balanced this redox reaction in acidic medium. Now let me teach you one difficult example. Consider this redox reaction in acidic medium. Now as usual, we will calculate the oxidation number of elements. The oxidation number of sulfur is positive 4, the oxidation number of chromium is positive 6, while in the products, the oxidation number of sulfur is positive 6. Now I draw the two bridges. We can see that the oxidation number of chromium reduced from positive 6 to positive 3. So it is reduced and it has gained 3 electrons. While the oxidation number of sulfur increased from positive 4 to positive 6. So it is oxidation and it has lost 2 electrons. Now to balance the gain and loss of electrons, I cross multiply them. Here, we need to have two atoms of chromium on both the sides. But wait a minute. We can see that there are already two atoms of chromium present in the reactants, while there is one atom of chromium present in the product. So I have to multiply it by two. The chromium is balanced. While we need to have three atoms of sulfur on both the sides, I multiply it by three, so sulfur is also balanced. The second step is to balance the oxygen atoms. Now 3 and to 3 is equal to 9 plus 7 is equal to 16. So there are 16 oxygen atoms present in the reactants. While in the products, 3 and to 4 is equal to 12. There are 12 atoms of oxygen present in the products. We need 4 more atoms of oxygen so I place here 4 molecules of water. I double the number and I place 8 atoms of hydrogen ions. So our redox reaction is just boom. So this is the complete balanced redox reaction. You should check it either it is correct or not and drop your answer in the comment box. Lastly, let me teach you the trick of balancing redox reactions in basic medium. For example, consider this redox reaction in basic medium. Remember that I will follow all the steps which we learned in the acidic medium except the last step. As usual, I find the oxidation number of elements. The oxidation number of manganese is positive and that in the product is positive 4. Now I draw the two bridges. We can see that manganese is reduced by losing 3 electrons and iodine is oxidized by gaining two electrons. Remember that iodine will lose two electrons to form iodine molecule I2. So be careful about formation of molecules like this. Now I cross multiply. We need to have three atoms of iodine on both the sides. But wait a minute. Here is a problem. If I place three with this iodine, we can see that there are three atoms of iodine in the reactants and two atoms of iodine in the product. So the best way to solve this problem is to go from molecular side. I write here 3. Now 3 and 2 is equal to 6. So I place 6 here. Thus iodine is balanced. Now we need to balance the manganese on both the sides. I place 2 on both the sides. Thus manganese is also balanced. The second step is to balance oxygen atoms. We can see that in the reactants, there are total 2 and 4 is equal to 8, 8 atoms of oxygen. While in the products, there are 2 and 2 is equal to 4, 4 atoms of oxygen. So we need 4 more atoms of oxygen. Thus I place here 4 more molecules of water. I double the number and I place 8 hydrogen ions. So this redox reaction is balanced in acidic medium. But we need this redox reaction in basic medium. Now to convert it from acidic medium to basic medium, the easy trick is to halve the number of hydrogen ions and replace it by water molecules. 
while double the number of water molecules and replace it by hydroxide ions. So this is the balance redox reaction in basic medium. Remember that I therefore have the hydrogen ions because I have to form water molecules are new bonds. While I double the number of water molecules because I break the water molecules or I break the bonds to form ions like hydrogen ions. So remember this logic. Lastly, let me teach you one advanced question. Consider this redox reaction in basic medium. Pause the video and try to balance it. Also I challenge you that you will not balance it and then you will complain about my trick. Now let me balance it. The oxidation number of manganese is positive 7, that of bromine is positive 5 and that of manganese is positive 4. Bromine is reduced by losing 6 electrons because its oxidation state goes from negative 1 to 0 then straight to positive 5. Secondly, manganese is oxidized by losing 3 electrons. Now here, my students were doing mistake which you should avoid. I mean these 3 electrons and these 6 electrons are divisible. So I divide them by 3. I get 2 electrons and 1 electron. Now as usual, I cross multiply. Bromine is already balanced and I place 2 and then manganese is also balanced. The second step is to balance oxygen atoms. We can see that there are 8 atoms of oxygen in the reactants while there are 7 atoms of oxygen in the products. So I place here 1 water molecule. I double the number and I place 2 hydrogen ions. So this is the balanced redox reaction in acidic medium. Now to convert it to basic medium, I have the hydrogen ions and I replace it by one molecule of water while I double the water molecule and replace it by two hydroxide ions. Thus this is the balanced redox reaction in basic medium. Therefore, using this simple trick, we can easily balance any redox reaction both in acidic medium and basic medium. I hope that you have learned this easy trick.